darling girl and welcome to the lean girl kitchen where you and me are going to be meal prepping we are going to be meal prepping two delicious dishes that are going to have your breakfast and lunch for fat loss sorted for four days it's going to take us like 30 minutes to prep and then the oven time maybe another 30 minutes so one hour in total and your lunch and breaky are going to be sorted for breakfast, we are going to be whipping up a very famous, but a new, with a new twist, which is my lingual apple pie oat bake. I've done a carrot cake one before, and I've done a banana peanut butter one, so I thought a little apple pie version would go down a treat. So if you are a hungry girl, but you're also trying to get lean and trim, then these recipes are going to rock your world. Lunch is going to be a creamy chicken and broccoli bake. I've worked out all the calories for you. I've done all the macros for you. I'm gonna show that to you at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I know that there is a bit of math, it's a bit of work, so I've done the work for you. Let's get straight into the recipes. Let's start off with our breaky bake. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some oats. This is the instant jungle oats. Some vanilla protein powder, whichever one you prefer. You could also use vegan, this is whey. Either one will work. Um, some unsweetened almond milk, some liquid egg whites. You could also use normal egg whites. We're going to use four. Um, so you could just separate the eggs out. We're going to have some spray and cook. Um, actually, you only need two apples, but guys, these are the smallest apples I have ever come across. So I actually did four of those. Some cinnamon, vanilla essence, baking powder, sweetener, raisins, and if you like, this is my apple, which I've already grated, which she's not looking good. Okay. That's all you're going to need, nice and easy, let's throw it together. Alright, we are starting off with a mixing bowl. I have my trusty scale here. You girls always ask me what scale I use. This one was just from at home. It's a Berlinger house kitchen scale. Any good digital scale, you don't have to spend a lot of money on them is perfect but very handy when you are doing baking or cooking and if you're trying to track your calories and macros you have to have a scale all right starting off with our instant oats 120 grams vanilla protein powder is next we're doing two scoops which should be around 60 grams if you are not a protein powder girl you can actually just add 30 grams of extra oats and obviously it won't be as high in protein, but the recipe will still turn out beautifully. Then we are sweetening it up. I am a fan of Candorel. I know that some people don't enjoy to use artificial sweeteners. You can use whatever you prefer. You could even use sugar or honey or xylitol, whichever you prefer. I love Candorel. It's basically zero calories. Um, I know people have a lot of questions on the impact of sweeteners on your health and if you really look into the studies that have been unpacked, there's very little evidence to suggest that they are bad for you. Um, if you'd like, comment down below. I can also share some of the unpacking and the of the research, which you might find interesting. So I've got six sweeteners in there. Then one teaspoon of baking powder, a crack of salt, and I always measure cinnamon. It's getting a little harding but around one teaspoon, one to two, one to four. Liquid egg whites, I get these from Woolworths. You can also separate out four eggs. People always ask me what I do with the yolks. Apparently they are very good for dogs. So if you have a puppy, you could give them to your puppy. I give them to my husband because he doesn't mind a few extra egg yolks. Based on the calorie content and the protein ratio, egg whites have the most protein for the lowest calories so we're going in with four egg whites which the, the conversion would be 120 grams or 120 moles there we go then unsweetened almond milk you could use normal milk as, if you prefer as an alternative why i like the almond milk is it is a lot lower in calories and you're really not going to taste it here um, it's just to add some liquid into the mix and a dash of vanilla essence and then the hero of the dish is the apple. So I've grated, it was three or four of the baby apples, but two normal sized, not kiddies apples will be perfect. And you can grate that on like the rough grater. And here's a little hack about baking. If you add banana or apple, 
instead of oil or butter into your baking mix, obviously if it's a sweet recipe, it adds a lot of moisture into your bake. So you may often find that a lot of protein goods, like protein baked goods, protein cake, they tend to be quite dry. And because we're not, we're trying to save calories, right? We're not trying to add a whole lot of butters and oils and things like that. Apple, banana, um, they keep the moisture in your bake. So there's a nice little hack. So this is gonna be beautifully moist, even in the day after, the day after when we're eating these for meal prep. And then a couple of raisins, so we're gonna throw in there too, that's 30 grams of raisins. Because an apple pie ain't no apple pie without raisins, unless you hate them, then don't put them in. And then we can toss the scale and just give her a good mix. Crazy simple, right? We threw everything into one bowl. We're popping it into the oven. I have been preheating it on 180. We're gonna throw it in for 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna keep an eye on it, but first we have to put this in a Pyrex dish. I have my gorgeous square Pyrex dish here. This is actually a, it's a Le Creuset one and it's pink. I am a sucker for pink. Like if I see anything pink in a store, it's like I must have it. We're gonna spray and cook this baby so we have no sticking. Whew. Now it's a party. Mm. There she is, ready for the oven. All right, so let's pop this baby in and then we're gonna move on to lunch. All right, moving on to lunch, our creamy chicken and broccoli bake which is a South African classic. I feel like everywhere you go, like Woolworths, Checkers, they all have those ready-made meals. And unfortunately, the macros are not amazing and I don't find them very filling. So our chicken and broccoli bake is just over 400 calories. And let me tell you, she's huge and the macros are fabulous. And we actually throw in some pasta into ours. Because here's the thing, if you're just eating chicken and broccoli, after 45 minutes, your hunger levels are gonna be screeching at you, like this kettle, okay? So adding a bit of carbs, adding a bit of carbs, just a small portion of pasta, so we're getting protein, we're getting fiber, and we're getting fat, is gonna keep you full up for much longer. Let me show you what you need, so we can bake that. Alrighty, so you need 400 grams of chicken breasts. I'm using this reduced fat cheese sauce. It is magic. Um, a packet of broccoli, which we are going to steam in the bag. Um, some pasta shells, just any pasta that you like. I like the shells. Fat free, smooth cottage cheese, mushrooms, onion, mature cheddar, and garlic flakes. Very important. Let's do it. We're gonna get our pasta on the go first of all because I always love to work like that in the kitchen so whatever's gonna take the longest you want to start with that so I'm weighing this out here we are doing 160 grams so it's 40 grams of pasta per portion into our pot and then onto the stove boiling water and a bit of salt Then our beautiful broccoli, girls, this is the best hack for steaming any veggies. So I do this before I put them in the air fryer. If you put them in the bloody air fryer, without cooking them first, you will get dry, shriveled up, horrendous vegetables that take forever to cook. This is how you do it. Cut off the corner of the bag, steam this for five minutes. You're gonna have beautiful tender broccoli and then we're not gonna put it in the air fryer now, but if you were gonna put it in the air fryer, then air fryer five minutes with your seasoning and spices, mwah, chef's kiss. But five minutes into the microwave. Was that open? All right, so we're heading back over to the stove. I have actually moved our pasta back because we are cooking our chicken, mushrooms, and onions in the pan over here. Okay, over to the stove non-stick pan, spray and cook, and then we're gonna cook up our chicken, mushrooms, and onions all together. So that's one onion, 100 grams of mushrooms, and we're gonna let that brown, and then we're gonna add our chicken. Okay, adding our chicken. Okay, 
And then we are seasoning. One of my favorites. Okay, our little oat apple pie bake is actually ready. I just tested it. So I'm gonna take it out and show you girls. Wow, oh, hot. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side while we finish lunch. All right, chicken is done, pasta is done, broccoli is ready, and now we need to make the sauce. We're gonna be using a total cheat. If you have any dish that you use a cheese sauce for, my dolls, this is the one you're gonna use. This is the Ina Palmer's reduced fat cheese sauce. Bullwiz also has a reduced fat version um, of a cheese sauce. I'm all about simplicity. Throw the whole bag in. And then, wait for it. We're gonna make it high protein. Would it be a lean girl recipe though, if we didn't? Throw in 200 grams, I like, 150 grams of cottage cheese. And then we're mixing these two together and voila, we have a creamy, cheesy, hot protein sauce. Trusties go. Garlic flakes, if you're a fan, especially if you're taking this to the office, like you need a bit of garlic bread to just keep people in their place, you know? Give you a personal, personal space. Look at that. And now everything goes in. The chicken, the pasta, and our greens. Can be season one more time. Taste. Mm. Damn girl. By the way, the chicken, creamy chicken broccoli bake does not even have to be baked if you don't want to because everything is already cooked. Before you eat it, if you like a little bit of that like crunchy broccoli with the cheese on top, pop your portion into a ramekin, pop it into the air fryer for five minutes before you're about to eat. But there is no need to remake the, uh, rebake this. So I'm just gonna dish this out into four equal portions now. If you wanna freeze either of these, you totally can. Um, or they will actually last perfectly in the fridge for four days. My girls, we're done in record time. I present my lean girl creamy cheesy broccoli bake and apple pie oat bake, ready to heat and eat. This one, as I said, you could pop in a Pyrex dish, pop into the air fryer so that your cheese gets all melty and crunchy and delicious when you're ready to go. This can be frozen, take it out in the morning before and then you can just heat it up when you're ready to eat or you can keep them in the fridge. They will last perfectly for three to four days. And then your oat bake, you can also freeze in single portions if you like. Also last fabulously in the fridge. And then I did include the macros for 10 grams of biscoff, which you can pop on top when you're ready to eat, have it all melt in and be warm and delicious and gooey. You're gonna love this one. You're gonna, you're gonna love both of these. So I hope that I've inspired you to start cooking delicious food for fat loss. This is my secret when it comes to getting lean. If you love the food that you eat, you don't need willpower. You don't need discipline. You're gonna look forward to every single meal. And because you're so calorie and macro conscious, we're losing fat, we're eating tasty food, we're feeling satisfied, and that's the way to go. So I hope that you love the video. I hope that you try out these two recipes. And don't forget that every recipe I ever make can be found inside my Lean Girl Kitchen Coach, which is the South African girl's ultimate meal planning tool and recipe hub for fat loss. So check that out. Look out for my next video. Thanks for watching. Much love.